Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. This is another video in my series, Investing for Beginners, where no questions or topics are too beginnerish or too basic, because I want you to start off right in your journey into investing and trading. All right, so we're gonna talk about what a day trade is in this video. Actually, I'm gonna talk about three different types or time frames for trading or investing. So you're gonna to wanna to watch the whole thing. Uh, and if you have questions about uh, trading, investing, stocks, or putting together a plan for your trading, uh, you can email me anytime. The email address is down there below, davidmodell at gmail.com. All right, so what is day trading? Well, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm going to talk about stocks today, and I'm going to I'm going to talk about the New York Stock Exchange, which is where a lot of stocks are traded. But everything I say today doesn't have does not have to apply just to stocks. It can apply to investing in other things as well, and it doesn't just apply to the New York Stock Exchange. But we're just going to use that for now to simplify things. All right. So let's say you buy a stock or shares of a stock. All right. Uh, so the New York Stock Exchange opens at 9:30 a.m. Uh, in the morning, uh, Eastern time, all right? And that's, it's open uh, Mondays through Fridays, but not on certain holidays. All right, so it opens at 9.30 a.m. And after 9.30 a.m., when they ring the bell to open up the New York Stock Exchange so people can buy and sell stocks. Um, okay, so you buy shares of a stock, and let's say you don't hold on to them for very long. You, in fact, you actually sell those same shares of stock the same trading day before four o'clock p.m. Eastern time, which is when they close the New York Stock Exchange for uh, trading, meaning buying and selling stocks. Uh, they do have after hours trading available and they do have pre-market trading available, but we're just sticking to regular stock exchange hours, 9.30 a.m. to four o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so let's say you buy shares of a stock after 9.30 and you sell them that same trading day before four o'clock, uh, before they ring the bell to close regular trading hours on the New York Stock Exchange. So you bought and sold shares of stock the same day, that is called a day trade. And if you do that frequently or regularly, you would be considered a day trader. So that's what day trading is, buying and selling uh, the same thing on the same trading day. All right. Uh, now, what if you what if you buy it but you don't sell it the same trading day? What if you hold those shares of stock? You hold on to them, don't sell them uh, overnight, and then the next trading day comes, uh, starting at 9:30 again a.m. Eastern time, and they ring the bell to open up the New York Stock Stock Exchange for regular trading hours again. Well, now it's not a day trade anymore. Now it is a swing trade. Uh, so if you buy shares of stock and hold them for, let's say, uh, more than a day, uh, perhaps you might uh, hold on to those shares of stock for uh, a few days or a few weeks or even a, a couple of months. Uh, that's called a swing trade. And let's say you don't sell them for a very long time. Let's say you buy shares of stock and then you hold on to them for a, a year or more, okay, longer than a year. Remember, you can hold on to shares of stock as long as the company doesn't go out of business or, or the stock doesn't get delisted or taken off the stock exchange. Uh, unless that happens, you can hold on to those shares of stock for as long as you want, years, decades. So uh, according, actually, uh, according to the IRS, and I'm not a tax expert, I, you know, I, if you have tax questions, you'll, you'll want to contact uh, a, you know, consult with an expert in, in the area of taxes. But uh, according to the IRS, if you buy shares of stock and hold them uh, for a year or longer, that's considered uh, a long-term uh, investment. All right. And other names for that would be buy and hold or position trading. Okay. So many different names for long-term investing. All right. So just to recap, if you buy shares of stock or whatever it is uh, during a trading day and then sell them that same trading day, that's a day trade. That's day trading. If you do that often or frequently, regularly, that would make you a day trader. If you buy those shares of stock, but you don't sell them the same trading day, you hold on to them for days, weeks, months, whatever, uh, that would be a swing trade. And that would make you a swing trader if you did that. 
Uh, and if you buy shares of stock or whatever you're buying and hold on to them for more than days, weeks, or months, but actually a year or longer, that would be long-term investing, uh, also known as buy and hold or position trading. And sometimes people will use the term trading or trader to refer to somebody who only holds on to shares of stock for a very short period of time. And investing or investor, they might use that to refer to people who hold on to their stocks for a long time. All right, so trading sometimes is used to mean short term and investing is sometimes used to mean long term. Other people just kind of interchange those two terms. Uh, that's what I tend to do. Uh, you know, to me, investing can be a short period of time or long period of time. Trading can be short or long period of time. I don't really, you know, separate people based on those categories, but you know, some people do. So just be aware of that. All right. So yeah, and there's no best one. All right. There are people who day trade successfully. There are people who swing trade successfully. There are people who buy and hold for a very long time successfully. No one is better than the other. They're just different and it depends on your time frame and other factors. All right, so those are the three time frames or three types of traders and that's what day trading is, buying and holding uh, a security, you know, a stock or it could be something besides a stock uh, for the same trading day. All right, so I hope that clarified things for you and my name again is David Modell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and leave a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell on YouTube so you can receive the latest updates on my financial educational videos. Uh, and once again, if you would like some help with trading or investing, whatever you want to call it, uh, putting together a plan so you can be more successful and uh, you know just questions about stocks or uh, you know the stock market, you can email me anytime at that email address down there, David Modell at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening. This is Looking at the Markets, and I'll talk to you again really soon.